Hey there booktube, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm continuing the series of books around the world. Last time I did five books that were set in five countries other than the United States where the names of the countries began with one of the first five letters of the alphabet. Today we're continuing that series. Last time we did countries A through E and today we're doing countries F through J. <laughs> F for France, and we have How to Behave in a Crowd by Camille Bordas. And this follows a family of six siblings and is narrated by the youngest of the siblings, Isidore, who's 11 years old when we meet him. And he is receiving instructions on living from his older siblings, from his parents, and from the peer groups that he's a part of. So his friend who's clinically depressed, his sisters and brothers who are all overachievers, from his mother and father who have a very interesting relationship where his mother relates to his father and refers to his father as being the father and it's a very formal relationship that they have in their household and so here it is we have the youngest of all the characters relating to us how he is learning about life from all of these other influences and so even though this one didn't show too much of the classic french living maybe what we would expect um, from a book that was set in France. It did show a little bit of the differences between how children are raised in the United States as opposed to how they might be brought up in this kind of laissez-faire culture that we see in France. G for Germany and I have The Book Thief by Marcus Zusa. The Book Thief is set in 1940s Germany so we get to see the relationship that the Germans had with each other, people who were for the Nazi party and who were not, as well as their relationship with Jews, how those relationships changed when the war broke out and relationships that endured even through the war because one of the main characters is Jewish and is being protected by these Germans. So, G for Germany. H for Haiti, and I have this short story collection entitled Crick Crack by Edwidge Danticat, and she's a Haitian author. I think she grew up in Haiti and moved to the United States when she was just a child. And her stories reflect the effect that immigration has on Haitians. Most of the stories in this collection focus on relationships that endure even through hardship. So the first story follows a couple who are separated because one has left Haiti on a boat trying to get to the United States, trying to seek asylum, and how the relationship changes when this person has left, and whether it endures or whether it can. Very interesting and thought-provoking collection, and very timely topical conversation as we think about the status that refugees have in this country and across the world. I for India and I have The Windfall by Diksha Basu and this one explores the changes that Indians have as they move within their country and also when they immigrate to other countries. The Windfall tells the story of an Indian family that has experienced some financial upsurge and now they are leaving behind their old home, their old neighborhood, their old friends and they're moving into this new posh community and experiencing insecurity because they're not sure that they belong. And as they move into this new community, all their decisions are based on what they observe other people doing, so they are copying other people. What is comical is that their neighbors are also doing the same thing because the neighbors see them, they perceive that they must be rich to be moving into this community. They assume things about their lives. And so we have these new neighbors who are also copying the people who are copying them. Very interesting, very comical, satirical look at Indian immigration, Indian changes, Indian culture. J for Jamaica. Okay, so it's not fair for me to really talk about this book as being an international read because even though it's an international read for most of you, I am Jamaican. And so while it might be a foreign read for most of my viewers, Jamaica is home to me. So while I would love to talk about this book here, I will reserve my discussion for A Brief History of Seven Killings for another video. And so J for Japan. J for Japan, we have A Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ozeki, and this one is a dual narrative where we see a woman who has found a package washed up on her beach in Canada and the package is from a young girl who was living in Japan who wrote a diary and it has now washed up I think after the tsunami and so this woman is 
going through this girl's diary and going through this girl's life and being impacted by this girl's story. And so of course there's a point where the stories intersect and the stories become even more real than the woman first thought that they were. Through this one we get a very in-depth look at Japanese culture, Japanese Buddhist religion. The author is a Zen Buddhist and I think a Zen Buddhist priest and so there's a huge there's a huge discussion of her philosophy in this book. It is an extremely well-written read. It's one of my favorite books that I have read so far this year. And I wouldn't have known about this part of Japanese culture if I hadn't read this book. So I completely recommend this book. If you haven't read it yet, I recommend that you do so. So that's our next five countries, F through J. Join me for my next video as we travel around the world through five more books. Thanks for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave me a comment down below if you've read any of these or read any other books from these countries and want to talk about them. So thanks for watching. We'll talk in the comments and until next time, happy reading. Bye.